Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing, this is a mostly sustainable dorm haul and what I mean by that is that it's mostly second hand, whether that be from Goodwill or just thrift stores or I consider this kind of second hand. It's not as sustainable as thrifting, but it's, I got a lot of my stuff from Dirt Cheap, which is a Target return store. So it's basically like Target, but cheaper and also you're not buying it like fresh and new, you know? To me, I feel like that's a little more sustainable than just directly buying from Target. We can have different opinions, that's okay. I'm also not like degrading anyone because they don't buy secondhand or anything like that. This is what I personally wanted to do. I just really wanted to try and challenge myself to find as many things secondhand as I could so that I could feel better about the things that I bought. I'm just gonna get things and then tell you if they're secondhand or not. The first thing, of course, I'm gonna have to do a friend's thing first because I'm just very excited about this. Stuff. My mom found this at the thrift store and if you don't know, I literally love friends. I'm obsessed with friends. It's just the first season and she said that we have the second season so I'm going to take the first and second season because Sarah has never seen Friends so we have to be watching some Friends. These. I had specific things that I really wanted to get thrifting because I knew that I could probably get them thrifting and so these are just metal bowls like stainless steel bowls. I don't know what you call this. They were together and I was like oh my goodness this is perfect because now me and Sarah can have one and they're popcorn bowls so I didn't want plastic bowls because I don't like that because popcorn is hot and if you pour it in there the plastic will leach into it so I got these I think they were like two dollars two fifty each or something like that but they were second hand nice bowls and I've washed everything by the way I've washed everything or I've wiped it down with alcohol or threw it in the washer whatever I could before I did this video because I didn't want to have any cooties on any of this but I was very excited about these because that was like one specific thing I was looking for going off of that this was another like super specific thing I was looking for and I found this I think we went thrifting on like my spring break or something I don't know and I was like I really want to find things for my dorm second hand that was whenever the interest first like peaked I was looking for something specifically like this so a lot of people are getting like those plastic shower bins but I did not want a plastic one because I'm trying to live more sustainably whenever I had this in mind I still use shampoo and conditioner but now I use bars so I don't really know how that's gonna work if anything I could just keep my toiletries in this and have some hand hand soap, my toothpaste, my toothbrush, my face wash, and all that because I'm gonna have to be taking it to the bathroom and back. So this could work for that as well. And then I'm gonna just address this behind me. This is the haul that I'm gonna film after this video. And it's a zero waste haul. Here's like a little sneak peek. This is all stuff for my dorm. I'll just say a few things like laundry and dish stuff. This is still technically a part of like my dorm haul. So I just wanted to show it and say that this is going to be coming soon. Subscribe if you want to see what I got from the zero waste shop for my dorm. Then we'll address the things behind me. So we still need a rug, but we really wanted floor pillows because that's just like a, such a cozy boho. We just wanted a cozy room. I had been looking at these giant pillows from Target and it wasn't these ones in particular, actually. They were like knit ones and they're like 24 by 24. They're big. So we went to Dirt Cheap. I was hoping that the pillows would be there, but they didn't have the ones that I wanted. But then I saw this one. This one has an, a zipper and like you can remove this cover and wash it, which I did, which I love doing that because now I feel like I can actually like hug it and like snuggle with this thing. It's like a black waffle knit thing and it's huge and like you can sit on it and it's fluffy. That was a good find and they had a yellow one of this one too and I really wanted that one but it had like a giant lipstick stain across it and I wasn't sure if I could get that out. So that's the thing about Dirt Cheap is a lot of the things are tampered with. That's why they're returned to Dirt Cheap and not to Target. I'm guessing Dirt Cheap is probably returns that aren't in good enough shape for Target or maybe Target has already discontinued that item or something. This pillow, like it was still in the plastic seal which I liked because I sprayed this down with alcohol but I also feel like I can hug this and I knew that there wasn't any stains on it because it was sealed but this one doesn't have like an unzippable cover to wash it which I didn't really like because just again Rona is happening. We weren't even planning on getting this kind of pillow but we were like well we can adjust our colors. Our colors are blush pink, black, and white, and gray and then we said we want to do pops of yellow. I'm very excited so we kind of adjusted our colors around that just because that was just such a cute perfect pillow and then the last time that I went I think I'm going to take these little things off just because I don't really like them. I'm not really sure like I feel like it'd be cute without them. But this was also from Dirt Cheap. Those were a separate time. That's all I got the first time were those two things. And then the second time I went just a few days ago, I still needed my bedding. I'm really trying to be the most sustainable I can with bedding 
as well. Can't really ever find bedding at a thrift store. I got this pillow and this pillow was $9. Oh, and these were 18, regularly 30. This one is gonna go on my bed with this pillow, which I've had for forever. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna be bringing, I don't think I've ever said that in the intro, but I'm gonna be bringing a lot of things from home. My lamp I'm bringing from home, some of my pillows, some of my little pieces in my room, like my room decor I'll be bringing from home because I don't wanna buy room decor for the purpose of it just being room decor. I'm bringing a fridge and a microwave. Luckily, I got those handed down to me, so I'm so excited about that. Actually, we're just gonna move into this basket now because it's gonna lead into the other things I got from Dirt Cheap. But this basket is from Goodwill and I got it for like $5. It's like pretty giant. It's fitting like all this stuff in it right now. So I'm hoping that we can fit like our blankets in that. So speaking of blankets, this isn't gonna be one of our blankets. This will be my bedspread. So I was talking about in my last video how I don't really like comforters and I also washed this. I took it out of the packaging and washed it. I'm not really a big fan of comforters. Like I have one on my bed right now, but this is because this is like a bed that I'm gonna have for a long, long time. And I've already had like this comforter for a long, long time. For my dorm, since I don't know how long I'm gonna be, be going to be staying in a twin bed, you know, I don't wanna buy a comforter and then never be able to use it. But buying a blanket after I use this as my bedspread, I can use this as a blanket. This is just the coolest thing because I either wanted like a blush pink blanket or a white blanket or like a light gray. So this is like an off gray, off white kind of color with black speckles in it, which I really, really like. And it's literally like a sweater and it's so comfy and cozy. I have a lot of stuff on it right now, but I might be bringing this like fuzzy pink blanket at the end of my bed. I'm not really sure yet that I'll be putting it in my bed there as well. But I got this from Dirt Cheap for $15 and it was regularly 40. And then the other thing that I got from Dirt Cheap was my sheets. I had seen these sheets at Target and I thought they were so cute, but I wanted to kind of like explore my options first because I didn't know if I wanted to do gray sheets and then have like a colored blanket. But since I found this blanket, then I found these sheets and they're twin XL, which I need a twin, but it's fine. I'll just tuck. I washed them in shoved them back in this thing and it has a pillowcase and then a fitted sheet and then a sheet as well i'm planning on keeping this cover thing and keeping like all my laundry stuff in it so that i can use that and also just have it all in one place but it's such a cute like color it's like a flower pattern then yesterday we went to michael's because we were trying to find one we were trying to find string lights that's gonna be one thing that's definitely not sustainable everything that i get i'm trying to get usb chargeable or like wall chargeable whatever because i don't want to have to be buying batteries and not knowing where to put the batteries and then end up throwing the batteries away and then the battery acid leaching into everything in the landfill long story short we didn't find those but we went across the because michael's has like a baking aisle and so we saw like a bunch of these and we were like talking about earlier that day that we needed ice cube trays we have these little hearts and then gummy bears she was like are these gonna be too small but i think that this is gonna be the cutest thing ever i know that this was not sustainable but Every time that we have ice in our coffee, it's gonna be so cute. And then the other thing I've been looking for, once again, I looked for secondhand. I looked for on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, Poshmark, all those places. I couldn't find any secondhand ones. And the thing with like Mercari and Poshmark and some of those things is you'll see duplicates of some things. And I'm like, but is that actually a used thing or did you just buy it on sale and then you're selling it for more? I haven't even opened this yet. It's a candle warmer. After I burn through all my candles, I'm not gonna be using candles anymore. I'll have to figure out another use for this but you can also use this like set your coffee mug on it and keep your coffee warm i want to be able to use up the candles that i already have but i obviously can't burn candles in my dorm and i probably don't want to burn them anywhere else i live because you never know <laughs> i've been looking for one of these and i saw it there and i was just like i tried my hardest that's the thing with a lot of this after this video i'm going to be filming that zero waste haul and i'm also going to be doing like a little bit of a sustainability talk just because i want to talk about like how i've rationalized what i've bought and like not beating myself up about it and like still going in moderation so then i got this belkin surge protector outlet thing i only got the one with six because there was one with like 10 and 11 but i don't have that many things i'm plugging up but i got the one with the 10 foot cord because i'm not sure how much i'm gonna need and i got that from amazon and then this was the other thing i got from amazon oh and then i also got my mattress topper from amazon it's downstairs nothing special so i'm not gonna show that then i also got this 64 ounce water bottle it's from simple modern i love simple modern i do support them i've looked into their sustainability claims and things i feel like they're a sustainable company i think this was like 
almost $30. So that's not really that affordable, but that's how much a like 30 ounce hydro flask is. So I wanted a big water bottle just so that I can fill it up. Cause they have a lot of water fill up stations everywhere. It's like the water bottle one. Oh, I just wondered like, what if this doesn't fit under there? Well, that would be very unfortunate, but whatever, it's fine. I'll figure out something. So since this is 64 ounces, it will fit two of my water bottles in here. And then it also came with this. And I just want to leave it in my dorm so I'll always have water there. But I don't really want to have to get a Brita. And I can use this besides that. This is something I can like keep in my car if I'm going on a long road trip and fill it up with a lot of water. Or if I'm going camping or things like that. Like I can keep a lot of water in here. So I'm very excited to have this. And then you saw the basket. I'm very excited about this basket. Okay, so then I have this basket. Which I have a lot of baskets downstairs that I'm not putting in this hall. That I'm going to be using in my dorm. I didn't buy them. I was given them. But I wanted to put this in here because it has a lot of stuff in it this was a clear mug that i got years ago from dollar tree and i had it in my hope chest no this isn't sustainable but i've had this for so long and i'm very excited because it's a clear mug like that's just so cute i'm gonna be able to see my matcha through it or whatever i'm drinking and then these i also got years ago from walmart whenever i first started getting into healthy eating so that i could do food videos and actually have cute dishes i thought that this would be fine if i need a plate and a bowl. I know I'll need a bowl at some point, but I don't really know if I'll need a plate. And then I also got two forks and two spoons from Target as well. I got a smaller spoon and then a bigger spoon and then I just got two forks because they had a salad fork, but the salad fork was like tiny. I don't really know what I'm going to be using a fork for. I know I'll be using spoons a lot. Once again, not sustainable in the beginning, but I feel like that's all more sustainable than using paper plates, paper bowls, plastic forks, plastic spoons. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's all in moderation. That's what I'm saying. Then I also got all my towels from Target. Once again, that's another thing I was willing to compromise on just because I'm not going to spend a lot of money on towels. The towels I use at home are from Target and I've had them for like at least four years if not more and I don't see any wear and tear so I just got two big towels and then I got two hand towels that's for like drying my face off and then I could keep one in my dorm for like if I spill something or whatever and I also have a dish towel that someone gave me with an A on it so I'll be using that also for like drying things in the dorm instead of using paper towels and then I have two rags I'll be using those a lot obviously I think I went through everything I obviously am not mentioning the things that I didn't buy this time around I just am taking so you'll have to stay tuned for the, the dorm room tour because then you'll be able to see the things that I ended up bringing from home. I'm very, very excited. There's been a lot of changes with our dorm because we were getting the renovated one and I was very excited to get the renovated one, but they're not going to finish it in time. So now we're having to move to the old, very old dorm. So we got our room assignments yesterday and we're in a triple room, but there's only me and Sarah. So Hopefully our room will be a little bit bigger. I'm very excited and that's a little thing that made up for this whole situation. Let me know down below if y'all want to see like pack with me's for college. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and maybe this encouraged you a little bit to try and find things secondhand because I, since doing this, have like discovered my love for thrifting because I found so many cool clothes thrifting. I'm just very excited to keep shopping secondhand because you can find so many unique pieces and you also feel a little better about it. I always make sure like whenever I'm talking to people about it, I'm like, I'm not trying to be awkward or make this situation a bummer, but this is the reason why I don't purchase from those companies directly anymore or most of the time. I really feel y'all took something from this, maybe got a little encouraged to try out the Goodwill or the thrift store. Or if you have a dirt cheap near you, I definitely do recommend you go there because you can get Target things for a cheaper price and for a better feeling in your heart. <laughs> I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to see more college videos because the next month I feel like it's going to be a lot of college videos because I'm going to be doing like a moving out, moving in, dorm, room tour, all the things. The first night in our dorm, a little vloggy vlog. I'm very excited. And the next video is going to be another food video. And the food video after this one has to do with matcha. So subscribe if you want to see what I'm doing with matcha. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.